So it's the village and then it's path. The okay. and the old him from afar. He is strong indeed. The one God comes to drive out the many, but here, in this place, God's influence is thin and threatening. The old God still holds sway here. Few venture this far into the world. He is disturbed by dreams, dreams that gnaws his very soul. He will rest for the night, but rest will not come easy. The battle has left him weakened. But he knows the dream will return, and though he fears nothing on this earth, yet his nightmares sap the strength within him and leave a cold grip on his heart. Tomorrow he will use the old hunting path. Long has it been in disuse, but for now he dreams. So I guess that's the first real level of the hunting path. Pretty cool so far. I guess I don't know. Second video here, we're only gonna do two. I got all that Star Trek shit later. It's a pretty long game from what I've read in the reviews, and it's on two two discs, at least for 360. I'm guessing the PS3 one's probably on one disc. Loss of life can make a man desperate. Desperate enough to do anything to the devil or the truth to hide from its power. Sounds like it's time to rock and roll. Weird that he sleeps at night and the enemies attack in the day. She sounds more like dogs than wolves. It's Epona, oh shit. Okay. Oh, wargs. Werewolves riding wargs, how awesome is that? Ride horse, press okay, press X to attack the wargs and press Y to attack the lycanthrope riders. Both attacks can be aimed left to right with the left stick. Press and hold, push and push this up. Okay, seems pretty simple. Take that, dagger. Let me just see something real quick here. Oh no, that's not what I want. Oh, that's not what I wanted either. That's what I want. Oh, that's the wrong trigger. No wonder. Here we are. Life gem medallion. Okay. Get it. 
was trying to teach me this. I want to go into the travel book and... Alright, yeah. Skill required. Uh, ah. I can't get anything yet. Just want to see this. Oh. the horse. I was wondering about you, uh oh. Nice! Right in the fucking dome and he launches off him. doing that circle shit. is to block, you have to be basically standing perfectly still. Oh, oh I saw the glow and I... Apparently, it's best to just block their attack and encounter, I guess, but then, uh, if you see that glow, you gotta dodge. Say. We'll see, boy. Yeah, there we go. It's 
seems like when you're getting knocked off the horse, I really don't know how to get back on it. I'll figure it out eventually. I think I may have accidentally skimmed over that part. We're coming to the end here. That's usually where it is. Oh wow, damn. I'm gonna make it. This is the greatest feeling of my life. Ah, oh, crap. Holy shit, that was cool. Gotta do the hero pose. He's like, fuck yeah. I can get spinning chain. Press and hold the X button while airborne. I thought I already got this. Oh, I was guilty. Airborne is the same. Finisher in any aerial attempt. Oh, it's a little bit different. It's at the end of a combo. Okay. Let's say. Hmm, interesting. It says I'm 63% done with the first two levels. It's interesting. I guess there's other things to do when, yeah, but you probably need new abilities. He continues on his journey to find the one he seeks. Who are one of the most strange creatures? A horse? There is a power here that few know. Ghost of horse thing? could have some influence on events. Perhaps the guardian of the lake is aware of him now and offers aid in his quest. There is just the small matter of the dead bog. The dead bog. A place that has claimed the bog of eternal stench. The smell of death is strong and holy, and danger lies around every corner. But nothing will stop him. Nothing will stand in the door. Okay. So now a swamp. Check all these corpses. A scroll. Read it in your travel book. Brotherhood Night Scroll. There's something in the water. Something terrible. I've seen men dragged under, never to return. The location of these creatures can only be seen as ripples or bubbles on the surface. I surmise one must wait for these ripples and bubbles to disappear before progressing through the bog. One cannot walk around them because noxious fumes lay either side of the safe path, so one must be patient and wait for the right moment to cross over them. Okay. I knew I'm going, I knew that I was going to die, but at least it would be fighting, not swallowed by any of these mire fiends. Alright, well I'm actually going to have to stop it here because I'm running out of recording time for videos, but uh, that's, uh, you know, the first bit of Castlevania Lords of Shadow. I knew you guys were expecting that. Later on, there'll be regular videos, you know, a request and the Star Trek stuff. The end of that feature. So, look forward to that.